the Black Mamba, there are few players more iconic than Kobe Bryant. And there might be no more iconic Kobe Bryant card than his 2002-2003 Upper Deck NBA Logo Mania autographed Game Used Logo Man 1 of 1 card. This card we have here is an incredible card, one of Kobe Bryant's best, and it's a card that really laid the foundation for many cards to follow. So this set came out in 2002, and it was the first ever set to feature a Logo Man in a card. The only other players that had Logo Man in this set are Michael Jordan and Jay Williams. Jordan makes sense. Williams might have been a little bit of a miss, but Jordan and Kobe is absolutely amazing. This is the first time we ever see a game-used Logo Man card exist in any any product ever. Logo Man are obviously a staple of many products today. You see the Luka Doncic Logo Man selling for millions of dollars, and you see other Logo Men in a very similar price range. Some of these rookie Logo Man autograph cards of today's young stars can fetch millions of dollars. And this is Kobe Bryant's first ever Logo Man, and the first Logo Man ever made for any trading card. So this really laid the foundation for many different sets, many different products, many different cards to come, like the logo men you see in National Treasures, in Spectra, in many other products. It's all from this card and this set right here. Another element of this card that gets vastly overlooked is the fact that the logo man in the card is actually game worn. So this came from a Lakers jersey that Kobe wore during a game, and then the logo was cut out and put into the card. Now you might be wondering why that's so relevant here. Isn't that commonplace? Isn't that to be expected? The truth of the matter is a lot of the modern product today, the logo men that they actually put in the cards or any of the relics they put in the cards are often from jerseys that were worn only during photo shoots, or in some cases, we don't even know. A lot of times on the back of the card, it'll say the relic contained in the front of the card is not from any specific player or event. And in these instances, some of these cards will still sell for seven figures, so it's incredible to see a game-used Kobe Bryant autographed, one of one, his first ever logo man, in the six-figure range available for sale. So as I mentioned before, there were only three players in this set that had logo men made. You have Jay Williams, you have Michael Jordan, and you have Kobe Bryant. Now, each of these players had three logo men in the set, making a total of nine cards in existence, each of these being a one of one, as they had different photography on the front of the cards. Actually, one of my favorite parts about this card is you get headband Kobe Bryant as opposed to the other card, which you just get normal Kobe Bryant. Of the nine Logo Man cards that were made in this set, only one has a higher grade than a BGS 9, and that is a Michael Jordan with a BGS 9.5. So yes, this game used autographed one of one Kobe Bryant Logo Man card is one of the most influential cards of all time. Kobe Bryant too is one of the most influential and important players to the entire sport of basketball. Despite being born in Philadelphia, Kobe grew up dreaming of playing for his favorite team, the Los Angeles Lakers. His dream came true when he was drafted by the Charlotte Hornets in the first round of the 1996 NBA draft and then immediately traded to the Lakers. Thus began one of the most illustrious careers in NBA basketball history. Kobe went on to win five NBA championships, two finals MVPs, NBA MVP in 2008. He had 18 all-star appearances, was named all-star MVP four times, two scoring titles, the only player to have two different numbers retired by the same team. The list goes on and on. We can make a hundred different videos about Kobe's impact on the NBA, but the point remains, he had one of the most incredible careers in NBA history, and he is one of the most famous and most liked athletes in the history of the world. When you combine Kobe's legacy with the legacy that this card had on the entire trading card industry, it makes for one of the greatest Kobe Bryant cards ever made, one of the greatest basketball cards ever made, one of the best sports cards ever made made. Now to top it all off, this card is also graded by BGS. This card got a BGS Mint 9. What a lot of people don't know about this card and this product is this product dealt with something called bricking, where the cards actually stick together a little bit, and it often will result in paint chips peeling off of cards and sticking to each other. This card does not have that issue. The other Kobe Bryant logo man in this set that we recently sold 
did have this issue. It was graded a BGS authentic because with that issue, the card would have gotten probably a relatively low grade. This card in a BGS 9 with the thick stock and also a perfect 10 auto grade is actually an incredibly high grade for this card. This is an absolutely beautiful card that has stood the test of time just as Kobe's legacy surely will.